A lot of people ask us why we focus on women in our brand. And well, of course, you know, it starts out by the fact that I'm a female indie artist. So I'm, I've always been a champion for female indie artists because of, you know, my own career and a lot of the women that I've connected with as an indie artist. Um, it really started out, I would say, you know, with my noticing that there really weren't enough um, songs by women on the radio or on Sirius XM. And I wondered why I felt like it was like 80% men. And of course, as an indie artist myself, I was very, um, attuned to that, you know, cause I'm like, Hey, like if I'm going to do anything, it's going to be so much harder for me if really 80% of what's out there is men. And so how can we fix this? Um, and also it was because Early in my career, I connected with a group of women um, and we, you know, we, we had kind of a, a mastermind. I guess it wasn't even called that back then because this is like the mid 2000s. Um, and we just, we helped each other out. You know, we gave each other ideas. Some people were a little further along in their career. Some people were starting out and it was a great place for me to learn and get my questions answered and help other people. And it really helped me jumpstart my career. So that is kind of how I really got focused on, wow, the power of women working together. And so I, when I started Women of Substance in 2007, it, I mean, originally it wasn't even the goal to promote women. Be, honestly, it was because I loved music by women and I was just gathering it all into one place where I could enjoy it, which was an online radio station that I could broadcast to myself at work. And then people started liking it. They started listening and I'm like, wow, this is catching on. So I figured out a way to be able to monetize it a little bit so I could afford to run it because they started charging to run it. And I'm like, I'm gonna create this as a platform to really raise up women because there's so much music I loved out there by a female indie artist and nobody was hearing it. And so that was the goal behind that. And you know, I really grew that to something that became known, you know, PR agents would approach me, record labels would approach me to get their female artists on my station and eventually on my podcast because they knew it would become a trusted place to highlight women with quality music in all different genres. So the reason we focus on women is because that's where it started for me. I'm a female artist. And then that just blossomed into me being able to help other female artists because I met so many women through the radio station and then our award-winning podcast that needed help learning how to market themselves, learning how to think of themselves as entrepreneurs and musicians. And so I'm like, well, if I'm already talking to all women, why not create a podcast brand around just women? So the female entrepreneur musician, I started in 2015 and our website Fem Musician um, was started around that because I thought I'm already speaking to women. Why not do something special just for women? And you know, of course, over the years it morphed into like a lot of men would approach me and say, hey, I really love your content. Can I get involved in your brand? And then we started doing things that were a little more, a little less gender specific, like the Profitable Musician Summit and now my Rock Your Next Release course. But I always know that I will always be a champion for female artists because that's where we started, because that's where my heart is, and because it's where I'm extremely passionate. And, you know, we'll always have our women of substance side of our brand. So we'll always be focused on women, especially in that place and our female entrepreneur musician uh, podcast and my female musician academy. So, you know, it's it's become something really important to me to try to help women specifically and create a safe place for them. Cause a lot of them have told me that they've felt frustrated being in other groups and masterminds and memberships and things where they were trying to get help with their career and felt like they were talked down a little bit too. You know, some people call it mansplaining. Um, so I want to make sure that we had a place where they felt like they could ask any question and they would never be, you know, felt to 
feel stupid or like, oh, they should know the answer or if they felt like they weren't tech savvy, that it, you know, it was too embarrassing to let people know that they didn't know how to do things that they felt like everyone else knew how to do. So over time, you know, as wanting to help women, I really developed a heart for wanting to help women who felt like they weren't being heard and weren't getting the help that they needed with their career, especially when, you know, maybe they'd been taken advantage of by other men, uh, you know, producers or uh, record labels or people that promised them things and thought that they were like naive and wouldn't notice if maybe they were taken advantage of. I want to make sure that women are not taken advantage of in this industry and that they have an advocate for them. And that is what I strive to be.